Hi, I'm Nicole Palmer, Realtor with United Real Estate. My name is Michelle Alba from Compass Mortgage. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of getting pre-approved and what that really means. So how many times have you said, I want to buy a house? And the first thing you do is start scrolling through a realtor for houses that are for sale. The hard part about that is you can get really discouraged really quickly when you see those monthly payments come up. So pre-approval can actually help you understand that a lot better. The lender can help you understand what you can actually qualify for, what your monthly payments are actually going to look like. And the really cool part is you get to actually choose what you want your monthly payments to be, and the lender can work the budget around that. So Michelle, tell me a little bit more about that. That's absolutely right. You want to be able to talk to your lender about budgeting. There's one thing um, from being your maximum qualification for the highest amount you qualify for, but are you really comfortable with that? And a good lender will go over budgeting with you to make sure that you are fine with your monthly payment along with all of your other bills. So what we look for in a pre-approval is the three C's. The three C's are credit, capacity, and collateral. So credit is obvious. We're looking at your credit score. Collateral is your assets. Do you have down payment? Do you need reserves? And do you have enough funds for closing? And then your capacity is your income. So we're looking at income to make sure that you can afford what you're looking to purchase. And we're only going to approve you up until that amount. One of the really cool things with pre-approval is most pre-approval letters last up to 90 days. That'll actually help you get through almost the entirety of the spring housing market right now. And it'll also lock in your interest rate. The cool thing is, Michelle, tell them about this. What can you do with the interest rate of pre-approval if the interest rate changes while they're pre-approved? Interest rate on your pre-approval, if it's not locked in, which in most cases it's not, um, you have to get fully approved through underwriting, which I do have that available where you can lock in a rate for 120 days. But usually the lender will use the average rate and usually a higher rate just to make sure that you qualify if the rates do go up. But if you qualify at a higher rate and the rates go down before you get into contract, you can absolutely go with the lower rate. You're not locked in until you actually do receive a lock letter from a lender. And the other thing about a pre-approval is that's not actually a contract that you're signing. So that's important to know. I think a lot of people struggle with the idea of being locked in with one person or if they're worried about the rates changing or getting a better deal elsewhere. Pre-approval is not a contract. Um, the only exception to that is sometimes working with a realtor. Sometimes realtors will have individuals sign what's called a buyer exclusive contract. Lenders don't have that. But the other possibility is with a good realtor, you can get connected with a good lending team. And that team is really important when it comes to pre-approval with communication between the lender and the realtor so that we can find the best home that'll work best for your budget too. Absolutely. Definitely get involved with the right team. That will help the situation a lot better. And yes, lenders do not have any lock-in. You can shop as much as you want, but I do recommend that you shop before you go into contract or and definitely before underwriting. Yes, so it's important to have the pre-approval. Also, before you start working with a realtor, a lot of times you might get might see that beautiful house on realtor and you really want to go look at it. But that pre-approval is what shows you what you can actually qualify for, what you can afford. And it's really important to have that pre-approval letter before you start shopping with the realtor too. Absolutely. So that is a little bit of information about what a pre-approval really is, what it means to you, and how important it is to get a pre-approval before you start shopping for your new home. So if you have questions, please reach out to us. Michelle and I are going to put our information in the comment section, and please feel free to comment back and forth. Let this be an open communication on what questions you all have about pre-approval or any misconceptions you might have about what a pre-approval is. Thank you for watching. Thank you.